Audio sync. You never done that? <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome to my warehouse tour. So come on in. This is my new warehouse that I got. Um, this is the third space I've moved into. So I'm, I went from a thousand square feet to 2,000 square feet and then this one's 5,500 square feet. When you guys walk in there is a bunch of office space that hasn't been used yet. Uh, we are in the process of just getting things set up. So there's not that much here, but that's why I wanted to show you guys just so you guys can see like the progression of like how this warehouse gets set up. And then maybe you guys can actually give me some suggestions on like how organized things. Um, so this area, what we're envisioning is like, this is going to be like an inside prep area when it gets like really hot and really cold. Sometimes the team likes to work inside on some things. Um, and over here, there's going to be one office. This office I'm not using. I'm actually going to rent it out to one of my friends. Uh, his name's Jose and he's running a Facebook uh, agency and he does like services for other e-com people. So it's like a very complimentary like business uh, with mine. So I'm like, okay, let's get him in here. It's, it'll be nice to have like another entrepreneur to just like chat with day to day. Um, and then he has some, um, a golf a brand that he's coming out with. It's like kind of like golf streetwear. It's really cool. You guys will see it. It's called Rally um, and you'll see more clips of it on the channel. And then over here, uh, basically, we have another room. Basically, this one is just storage too. Um, as you can see, everything in this warehouse is pretty empty. Um, we're trying to get more shelving and stuff, so that's probably what's going to be in here to just store things. Um, and over here, we'll head over to my office. So, we just moved in here maybe two weeks ago, um, and this is all we have so far. Uh, my girlfriend got me this, the little every day I'm hustling, and she's the one that's recording right now. <laughs> you got it, babe? <laughs> All right, um, but yeah, eventually in this room, what we're going to have is I'm going to set up another L desk like right here. Um, and then this is just a hot desk basically for the team to work on uh, whenever they come in. So I'm excited. I'm waiting for my desk to come in. Uh, it'll be like an L desk that like will sit and stand. Um, so excited for that. Um, but the part I know you guys do want to see uh, is a warehouse, which we'll get to in a second. But I'm also really excited about this room. This is a break room. So now the team actually has like their own place. So you kind of like hang out officially, uh, eat and whatnot. Before in my other warehouse, that was 2000 square feet. I only had like one big room slash office. So like I was working right next to like with the break room and everything too. So Sometimes it was hard for me to focus. I know like when I like, work, I like to personally just be alone trapped in a room with like no like distractions or sounds or anything like that. All right, so for the part, all of you guys want to see the warehouse, right? So this warehouse I'm about to show you guys is the main reason we moved into this spot, right? So this warehouse is 3,000 square feet. Come on in. 3,000 square feet and our old warehouse space was under like 2,000 square feet, uh, basically. So this is a big upgrade for us. Um, as you can see with this whole warehouse, what we're planning on doing, what I had conversations with last week is I'm gonna install pallet racks all along this wall, right? And it's gonna be about uh, three pallet highs. So it's gonna be two shelves of beaming. Um, and then same thing along this wall too. It's gonna be three stories high and then pallets uh, along that. So. Basically, at my old warehouse, the ceiling wasn't high enough for us to really store pallets. So that's why I'm like really excited about this one. Uh, because when it comes to square footage of a warehouse, when you're like you leasing or anything, they charge you by the square foot, right? They don't, it doesn't matter if the ceiling is like 10 feet or if it's 20 feet like this one. Um, and because this one's 20 feet, I'm able to like build a pallet rack. So we're able to actually get a lot more usage by going up in this space, right? So think about like, just like a Home Depot type place or any other warehouse place, right? So we're excited to like grow in that direction. Uh, but just to give you guys kind of a tour about, about the current layout, which is still a work in progress and everything is kind of laid out on the ground right now because we don't have those racks. Um, so you guys get to, we'll see it before and after. Uh, in terms of like the workstation, 
Uh, most of this is for like the wholesale side of the business, but my business is just so you guys know now, I'm like 25% wholesale, 75% private label. Um, and this is one of their workstations. Um, so essentially in terms of printer wise for like the Amazon box labels, this is like the four by six label printer that we have. We really like using the Rolo printer. Uh, before we had like the Dynamo 4XL, uh, four times six one. Um, and I think it was called the Dynamo XL model. And that one would like jam all the time on us. So this one's been a lot better uh, with this little attachment too. Um, and basically it just prints out, you know, pretty smooth. Um, this Dynamo printer, we always get this one, but we've gone through like <laughs> at least like 10 of these already. Uh, they just always end up dying or crapping out on us for some reason. Uh, but this one's been a solid trooper. And this is for the FN SKU labels, basically the barcode labels that go on a product. So this one gets into a lot of use. Laser printer, uh, highly recommend a laser printer over inkjet, especially if you work in a hot warehouse um, or like extreme temperatures, they just seem to hold up a lot better. And then a uh, weird thing about this computer, funny story about this, we gone through at least like four computers too. Uh, because they all die from like the heat in the warehouse uh, and that's our theory but before this computer this computer like looks it's like a like a standard like tower size um, but before this we would always buy like these like miniature ones that like didn't take a lot of space because like you know we just need a computer that can just like browse chrome basically right and connect to all of our apps but because the computer was smaller and I live in Houston where like the temperature is like constantly can be like 90 degrees in the summer or like 30s in the winter in the summertime all the computers would always break um, and I think that was, that was just because there's not enough airflow going through the computers and whatnot so if you live in a hot place and you have a, uh, a warehouse thing I highly recommend like a full-size computer just so like they don't crap out and die on you but like the computers that we get for the warehouse are pretty cheap like we just buy like the refurbished three to like 400 ones on Amazon and they serve our purposes fine other than that, uh, scan guns are pretty key too, um, in order to like check in items real fast. And that's like some, another video that I'm thinking about making too, cause I want to show you guys my like inbound check-in process. Cause I'm pretty sure there's some inefficiencies there and maybe you guys might be able to give me some tips. Yeah. So besides this, right. So goods go in and out, um, and we put them on these boxes. Um, and we have this prep area and some key things about the prep area I learned um, over the years, it's really good to have a lot of tape guns like everywhere. Because uh, one of the things like when it comes to running a warehouse is a business in itself and it's one of probably the weaker points of my business. Uh, so I just kind of want to share some of the pain points that like I've gone through and like learning lessons. But I remember my team, we had maybe just like two, three tape guns in that uh, warehouse, but they would just like be walking like from here to over there, over there, cause they, they forgot where they left the tape gun. So now we kind of have like tape guns like everywhere and they're so cheap, right? So you might as well just buy a lot of them. Um, and we kind of like store them at like each part of the table here um, and there, there, there. And then uh, at other parts of the warehouse too, we'll have like a tape gun like back there too, just so they're everywhere and they're like, they don't have to walk as much, right? The more st steps you can reduce for a team to have, then uh, the better it is, right, in terms of efficiency. Other than that, we also have like these little containers uh, laying around in different prep areas. And what we have in these are uh, Sharpies, right? Sometimes we write on the box like different things um, because sometimes the shipments, as you guys know, like they all don't go to the same warehouse. Um, so sometimes they label the boxes to keep it organized or just make notes on it. Uh, box cutters. These are super key. Uh, buy like a bunch of these and make sure they're just laying around in the warehouse everywhere. Um, I always tell my team to actually just carry both of these in their pockets or every single like as they walk around the warehouse uh, because like you just need it, right? Um, and then we also have scissors too, which they don't use as much, but um, it helps. And then pens too. This is normally for the only time they use the pens is really for when people drop off deliveries for pallets or the truck shipments. And we have to like sign, right? So for some reason, <laughs> we're always losing pens. So we just kind of like, I, I just bought a bunch and leave them around everywhere. Uh, what we're missing right now too is, cause we just moved in here like two weeks ago. Not everything has been fully unpacked. So these tables right here, uh, what we're missing actually is the risers. So to make uh, 
to reduce like back strain, we actually put risers under these tables. Um, so they're at a better height for like the team to work with. Um, and that's been pretty key. We use these plastic tables because our goods are like never like really that heavy. Uh, but sometimes you'll see when I when I visited like other warehouse, like sometimes people have like these like really nice steel like type tables set up. Um, but in our situation, we just don't need it. So we're just doing that. Other than that, we kind of have this section off right here, just basically some of our supplies. So a bunch of tape, bunch of uh, labels over there, bunch of poly bags. A lot of the poly bags are still missing. They're in a box somewhere <laughs> in this warehouse. We just don't know where it is. Uh, and we have a bunch of these like um, trays that sometimes we use for our items, right? Of different sizes. So we'll have like these trays to just like throw items in and there and then smaller ones too, just depending on like what they need and what the team needs to do. Uh, Cause ideally what my team was doing before was they would just like, carry all these items right to like one thing and you want to reduce like the amount like or increase the amount they can carry so now they're just like carrying this whole thing or putting it on like the dollies um, and bringing these over and it keeps it when they're like reconciling inbound inventory it helps to just like dump them to containers if they're like the same items um and then now i'll show you guys the back of the warehouse, which I'm really excited to show you guys. Yeah, so basically now the two things I'm excited to show you guys is like how our entrances to the uh, warehouse is. And this is like a key thing to think about in your warehouse too. Uh, and here's like examples of like tape guns just like lying around everywhere. Like I said, sometimes like when there's a delivery, sometimes we just need to tape an extra box because it's like coming loose or so. So th that's why I just leave one like by the door essentially. Now watch your feet. Okay, so on this side, what we have is a ramp. So this is like a driving ramp. So sometimes I just, I just like back up my truck up in here if like we have deliveries or anything. And then this will be also the ramp we use for like our forklifts or like when we get like pallet deliveries. Uh, because over here is what we have. Uh, I believe it's called a semi uh, or half semi like loading dock. So this loading dock is only the height of a um, a UPS truck, a FedEx truck, a U-Haul truck, or kind of like a truck the size of like that one, that box truck. Um, and what's good about this is like, it just makes it so much more efficient if you have a lot of like UPS FedEx deliveries and like inbound and outbound, right? So the truck's just back up there and it's like the exact level of height and it makes it so much easier, right? Um, for the drivers and whatnot. So uh, that's the one thing that I'm most excited for um and then in terms of like when we get like pallet trucks uh we get pallet deliveries uh because our bay is not made for like an 18 wheeler the trucks usually just like are lined up here halfway and the good thing about our neighbors is like because one is a uh, one's a produce company and another one's an e-commerce company the produce company they're only really busy with deliveries like in the early morning so we're never really dealing with issues of like the parking lot being too crowded and even then it's not even too crowded. So that's good for us. Um, but one of the things that we were most excited for is actually this trash can. Uh, so I pay, so this trash can is like a three foot one and we pay $125 a month for this. But before what we were doing is like, I would have to back up my truck. We would load up all the cardboard trash that we had. And uh, we would have my, community my warehouse had like a community trash can that would like constantly get filled up all the time and the annoying part it would be like as far as like say like that FedEx truck that's over there and with that FedEx truck like we would just have to like take like four loads just back and forth with my truck just to dump trash and that's like one of the most inefficient things you can do with your team right so by having this uh, it saves my team so much time and like it's funny and thinking about like this is one of the things we were most excited for about having this warehouse but yeah at the end of the day uh, this is the back of the, the warehouse um, something for y'all to consider um, if you guys have a lot of like pallet shipments where it's like maybe a dozen pallets going out or full truckload every time I would probably recommend getting like the dock high one for an actual truck uh, but we're growing to that point and that's probably like the only thing like I really don't like about this warehouse that I don't have right but Sometimes you have to compromise on certain things. And I was like, my lease was about to end and um, I had to move into another space. So 
that was one of the compromises I had here. But once we get the forklift, things will be way more and more efficient than what we were doing before anyways. Um, so that's it for the back. All right, guys, so that's the tour of the new warehouse, 5,500 square feet. It's been a big jump for us to go from a 1,000 square foot warehouse, which I don't recommend getting, it's way too small, uh, to a 2,000 square foot warehouse. And then now we're at 5,500 square foot warehouse. So it feels good to like make progress uh, we'll be in here for the next three years. So that's why I'm investing in like the racks and things like that, just to make things better for me and my team. But yeah, at the end of the day, one of the best decisions I ever made was last year during COVID is when I got, oh, I guess two years now, technically when COVID started is when I first got that thousand square foot warehouse. I was lucky enough to get like a six month lease and like test it out if like I really wanted a warehouse. And it just made things so much better. It was like one of the best decisions I had. Like we were just way more efficient. Uh, things felt more official. It was good for like team morale. Um, and we were able to just expand our business because vendors that would look up our address realize like, oh, we have a warehouse, right? So same thing with this situation. Um, so if you're ever thinking about getting a warehouse, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, if you have a wholesale business, um, maybe if you have a private label business too. Um, so most of the stuff that you see in this warehouse right now probably 75 percent of the items are wholesale stuff um but my private label stuff will be coming um and what we're doing right now is i have a lot so a lot of my pallets and items i order we couldn't fit in our 2000 square foot warehouse and that's why we decided to move here and get the pallet racks so right now uh, for the last couple of months i've been spending anywhere from like seven thousand to ten thousand dollars a month right just paying a 3pl on the west coast and on the east coast to prep my items uh, and ship my items to amazon receive it um, so it just got to the point where like it didn't make financially sense right and once you grow big enough it just makes sense to like bring things back in house again um, but i still have the relationship with those guys so if our business ever gets super crazy again i can just leverage those warehouses right so it's a good option and if the margins work then you can still use them but i was like let me bring some of the margins back in-house uh give it back to my team um and let's just expand here right so if you guys have any uh suggestions on like future videos uh let me know i'll have another update uh in terms of videos once we get the pallet racks installed and once the forklift comes and um uh, things hopefully will look a lot more organized so i'll see you guys around when i make that video later